Hi, welcome back. I hope you had a nice week and you're ready for another video. COVID-19 is a sad reality around the world. Due to this um, virus, um, our lives have been turned upside down. A lot of people has, have lost their jobs and um, a lot of people are currently working from home. So I decided because uh, it's been something that it, uh, has been on the news and a lot of people are commenting and because I think um, due to the nature of my work I may have some experience on this and I may actually um, help others uh, on this uh, very difficult situation I decided to create these videos about COVID-19 and how to deal with COVID-19 um, and maybe uh, I will have more um, a, a little bit of a, a series over this or with se several aspects on this issue. Today I'm uh, talking about working from home. A lot of people today are working from home. They have left their offices and for uh, their safety and the safety of their colleagues they are now working from their own homes, in their own home offices. For me, that has been a reality over 10 years now. So what, for example, for my husband and for many other people, may be just a new situation that they are trying to adapt to and they are trying to come up to terms with. For me, it's been a reality over the years. So I think um, maybe um, people like me that work from home, that have been doing so for a long time, maybe we can share our experiences and help um, thousands of people that are now doing the same thing as we have done for a long time. And maybe um, there's less issues or people think is less dramatic or um, less negative. A lot of uh, uh, people that are actually used to go and work in, a, in, a, in an environment of a company and, and work in a team and work with a company and with colleagues, etc. It's that aspect of getting up in the morning, uh, the commute and being with colleagues and uh, actually the um, the social contact with people and um, all that effect that has on them, the positive effect of that. Obviously now, uh, because we are on an extremely, extremely um, special situation, uh, we obviously cannot do that anymore because it's no longer safe for us, for our families and for our colleagues and their families. So everyone that can actually work from home should do so. And we are the lucky ones. Unfortunately, there are thousands of people that cannot do that. They cannot afford to work from home because their jobs are not possible to be done from, from the home environment. And they unfortunately have lost their jobs. So let's, let's, think, let's think of the positives here. We are the lucky ones. We still can function. We still can do something and we can still um, get some normality in our lives. At least we can sit, still can some get some income to pay our bills, which is very important as well. One of the main things that I um, hear people working from home is um, they find very hard to adapt because now they are uh, at home and basically it's just um, getting up from, uh, from bed and just going to the sofa, going to sit on, on the desk and this and that. Um, and they are finding it hard to adapt. Uh, and they think there is uh, a lot of distractions because you have your TV there, you have your kitchen there, you can just go and grab this and grab that. Okay, so let me see, let me say what has been my reality of working from home uh, and what I think is fundamental for you to keep not only um, your job going, so your workload going and working and functioning properly as you would in your office, but also your mental health and everything. 
One of the main aspects of this job and one of the main aspects of working from home is, in my perspective, discipline. You have to be very disciplined. Even though you are working from home, it does not mean by any means that you should relax on your, on your schedules and on your times. If you usually work from 9 to 5, you should keep that because that's, that keeps some normality going and that keeps your mind on that normality and on what it's, it's what you do. So you don't feel that isolation that much. You're still working. Um, in some companies, you are you still working with your colleagues. Most of I, I see, for example, the, the the case of my husband. He co he, communic he still communicates with his colleagues every day as meetings. Yes, he's not face to face with his colleagues anymore, but they still communicate. So the social part of it is still there. We are the lucky ones, as I said before. Uh, so discipline is very very important. You should still get up. You should still take a shower. You should still get ready and get ready as you would go to work. Yes, I'm not expecting um, anyone to go and put on a suit to sit uh, in, in the home office. Uh, I'm, okay, but I'm still, I, I'm still expecting people to put on proper clothes and go and work as you would if you would go uh, to your office and um, be very very disciplined with yourself try to meet those those times try to try to meet the time if you had to be at your office at nine you should be at your desk at nine even though you are home and that's a plus think about it you don't have the commute anymore so the time that for example um, you would take to commute you can use to do other things. You can use, for example, to listen to music or to read a little bit of a book or maybe call someone or maybe uh, do some exercise. You can, okay, we can, we cannot go outside, but we can still do some exercise. We can still put music in our TVs, use YouTube or any other uh, avenue, other platform and listen to music uh, and dance for example is a great form of, of exercising and it's a way, great form of keeping your mood up keeping your energy up and that will actually make you feel good and then you can go to work so your commute instead of being the old commute on a packed train or on a packed bus it will be now having a little bit of exercising having a laugh having a talk because now you are at home with your family you can actually have a talk you can talk to someone and that's good that's very healthy then while you are at home at work keep your routines keep everything as you would do in your office if in your office you're not going to get up every five minutes just to roam around don't do it at home it will be distracting and it will be it will make you feel good now because you feel that sort of freedom but in the long run when you go back to your uh, normal routine when you have to go back to your office then you will feel that adapting to that environment again it will be harder and you will see that it, it might be harder than it is now to adapt to work at home so discipline in my view it's crucial you have to be disciplined you have to keep your routines going and think about the positives instead of thinking about oh i can't go and have that coffee okay that's fine you still have one hour lunch you can go to your kitchen you can have your lunch and you can make your coffee at home you have the socializing part of it there will be other family members in your in your home that you can talk to um if you need you can call um your mom or your dad or someone uh, if they live in the same uh, country which is not my case unfortunately but uh, you can still communicate with people and know if they are okay uh, elderly um, relatives of yours that you can call and ask them if they are fine you can do that while you eat and that's socializing and and that takes away from that idea of isolation of not being in contact with 
other people because in fact we are in contact with people we are with our families yes it's a bit annoying it's a bit hard to be at home all the time and not being able to do what we usually do going for a walk in the park going to the beach going to all these places that we used to do I have a three-year-old daughter and it's hard for for me not going out with her she's always asking but we, me, we must understand that at this time, it's very important that we stay together. Even though we are apart, it's very important that we stay together on this. And staying together means staying apart and isolated. So we stay home. We help not stop the spread of this virus. And in the end, it's a win-win for everyone. So... I decided to do these videos uh, because I think my experience uh, in working from home for more than 10 years would be actually helpful for those who are now faced with what I've been facing for all my career. Yes, I do love to work from home. I love it, but that idea that is easy, that we, we have uh, a bit more uh, freedom well it depends on the way that you face your job and the way that you actually face um, in my case your business because if you really serious and you you need you need to be proactive and you need to be there so yes I'm a freelance I'm a freelance translator um, if I decide that I don't want to work or, or I I'm not working this afternoon I can say obviously I, I I'm not you know obviously uh, if I if I say that uh, this I, I won't be in the office this afternoon I can because I work for myself but what does that mean if I don't work for my, if I don't work this afternoon and one of my clients needs a translation and they contact me and I'm out of office that means I won't get that job so I don't get that income so it's not it's not that easy and it's not that simple as um, sometimes people see it so that's why um, being disciplined in, in this um, industry and being disciplined when you work from home is very important so you block off all the all your distractions the distractions that the new workers from home that we see now due to this sad situation are actually claiming the coffee machine that it's in the kitchen all the time the biscuits that you know are there the phone that you can just grab and the netflix in the lounge that has that series that you so love to do but hey you are at your working time just think about it don't think you are at home think you are in the office that's what i do from nine and now my hours have been um, a little changed since I had my daughter. So from 10 to 5, I'm not at home. I'm in my office. So I act just like any one of you when you were in your office outside your home. And that's how you should treat your working from home. It can be done. It's not isolating. It all depends on your mindset and all depends on how you see it and if you see it on a positive way and if you see all the positives of it and if you in this difficult situation you try to get the positives the tiny little positives that you can get from here and there we can get it and you will see that it's not hard it's it's really not difficult and you will see that if we all do it we are saving lives and that's the ultimate goal here it's that we can actually stop the spreading and we can all actually beat this virus so i hope you really like i hope my opinion and, and this video actually helped a lot of you that are now working from home and are a little bit um lost because it's it's a massive change in your um, routine it's a massive change on your daily um, life and I understand that I understand that you are used to get out of home that 
you are used to get on a train or get on a bus or get on your car and you are used to go to your office and have a meeting and see your boss and see your colleagues and talk to them face to face and that it's your usual um, way of working and that's how what you assume as working but now your mindset needs to change a bit you still need to think that you are at work but think about your own office as exactly the same thing as your office in the company where you work and you will see that you will be able to go through it and you will see that actually that time that you don't have to commute will have actually help you uh, dealing with other things we, you can have an extra time for exercising for example you can have extra time to read a little bit of a book because now for example you finish at six instead of still having to beat the traffic still having to beat the packed train or whatever you, can, you you get on you can for example go sit in the sofa or go and just if you like cooking just cook a nice meal and or read a book or listen to music for example, I don't know, some some uh, uh, people may like listen to music. I actually always have um, the TV on with news because I like to be connected with the news. But I have it really low so it doesn't distract me from my work. But I still have some uh, noise around me. So I, I don't feel so isolated, for example. That's one of the things that I do on my regular basis. I think all these little things will work and all these little things will help you deal with the, with the difference in your work environment. It worked for me, it's been working for more than 10 years um, and I would like it works for you as well because um, yes we are on a very um, difficult situation at the moment and I don't know for how long um, you all need to be working from home. So if other freelancers like me and, and and in fact there's been a lot of uh, other colleagues of mine that have been put out um, commentary about this and it's it's good it's good that we actually have that conversation because if we are actually having that conversation and bringing this to people that helps them because other other translators and I have commented on a lot of uh, posts like that other other translators and other other freelancers in other professions in other industries comment what their life is and i think now it's time for us to step out and say look that's what we do if if you go like that maybe you can do it too and i think we all can do it i think we it's feasible for all of us so we all have to have the the right mindset and instead of focusing in the negatives, instead of focusing in the fact that you're not going to the coffee shop anymore or that you won't see your colleague face to face anymore or this and that, we can focus on the positives. You are saving lives, you are still working, you are still having an income and you still have some sort of contact with colleagues and friends and everyone, which is a plus. So I hope you really like this video. I hope you really hope helped people that um, are now faced with the working from home situation and are finding it a little bit uh, stressing. Um, and if you really have any other questions, if you really um, like to suggest anything or, or if you like the video, please subscribe, leave your questions below. Let's start the conversation. Let's all help each other and please stay safe, stay home. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Thank you.